Hi there, Megan. I just got back from getting my IUD put in. So I'm going to tell you about that process. But first, I want to share a very historic moment with you. See these? See this? See them? Yeah! Okay. Disclaimer for anyone else. Sometimes you can't go off your hormonal birth control right away after getting the IUD inserted. It kind of depends where you are in your cycle when you get it put in. So don't do that if, if, if without asking your doctor first. But I get to do that. Look at it. It's in the garbage. I don't have to worry about those anymore. That's really kind of freeing. And this is more effective than, than those things. So, sorry. I hope you don't get dizzy from all the back and forth thing. I'm just kind of excited. Oh god. Feels so weird though. <laughs> without my pills. <laughs> anyway. So I just got the IUD put in. Uh, I'll tell you about that. And, uh, yeah. So when I, before I got it put in, I went and did some research on the interwebs. And, I mean, there are a lot of people who've had a lot of different experiences with the IUD, but I've heard, like, some very scary things, as well as some, you know, a few reassuring things. But this is going to be one of those reassuring videos, so, I, at least I think so. I don't know, I just got it put in. There's still time for shit to go wrong, but I don't think it will. They said it's unlikely. So I went, I went in there, right? And, uh, I went in the rating room, and I was so nervous... I was like freaking out nervous and I was scribbling in my diary insanely because I heard it hurts a lot and I heard all sorts of scary things that actually have like a very slim chance of happening but still they like to make you think that if you're if you're having sex and going on birth control everything scary will happen so God damn patriarchy anyway um they want all this sex but they don't want us to you know be safe about it I guess I don't know they're stupid and everyone's stupid Anyway, um, so I went in there, right, and I, she, lady called me back, we chit-chatted a little bit about stuff, and, um, then it was, uh, IUD time, and, uh, so basically what happened is, I've, I've never had even, like, a pelvic exam, because they don't require those until you're 21, like, usually, and I'm 18, so I had never had anyone all up in my grill like that before, except my boyfriend, but, um, so I sat on the table, and I scooched my butt super far over to the thing, and, uh, yeah. Um, the little things that they make you put your feet in, I thought they'd be, like, way up here, so I would be scrunched up all weird, because on TV it's always like that. They're, like, down there. It's not that uncomfortable. But, um, and, uh, so a lady puts the scary duck lip things in, and I'm like, oh, that's not that uncomfortable, and she opens them, I'm like, oh, that's kind of uncomfortable. And <laughs> I think it's at this point that the other the nurse who was in the room, just kind of overseeing to make sure nothing went wrong, uh, asked me what my pl college plans for next year wa were, and sh I mentioned I was going to St. Kate's, and she was a Katie, it turned out. Like, she used to go to St. Kate's. And we started chit-chatting about that, so, I mean, <laughs> that in itself wasn't weird, but the timing was a little weird, because while we're talking about St. Kate's, I have this other lady all up in my grill, and I have this little squeezy star thing for, like, stress, and everyone's around, like, ah! because it does hurt. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, it does hurt. Um, so first they had this long, scary thing that they used to measure my uterus, which they put in there. And apparently I have the perfect size uterus for an IUD, which is just so cool. Like, that's pretty rad. I mean, my mom has a backwards uterus, and if you have a backwards uterus, I don't think you can have an IUD. So I was really happy that I didn't have that, at least. And, um, so that happened. And then, um... So that part, I mean, so the, the duck lips, that was a little uncomfortable. The measuring thing, that, I mean, that hurt a little, like, like stomach cramp-wise sort of thing. Then they, oh no, this is before the, before the, the measuring thing, they took this biggest Q-tip in the world and used it to clean my cervix, which looks like a mini donut, apparently, with this weird, like, iodine-based sanitizing stuff, and that was, oh my god. This is gonna be TMI, probably, but... It was unnervingly similar to cleaning your ears out, except it's not your ear, it's your, like, vagina. <laughs> it was so bizarre. Anyway, then they stuck the measuring thing in, that hurt, I mean, that hurt a little bit, like, small twinge sort of thing. I mean, I guess a medium twinge, because it's like, uh, it's kind of like cramps, kind of like menstrual cramps, like, on the, on the worser side, I guess? Not just, like, heavy, like, not just light, like, eh, or like, ah, sort of cramps. And then she took that out, and that was all good. And then she did the part where she sticks the actual IUD in, and let me tell you, big, big twinge. <laughs> that one hurt. 
worse. I think it was probably a little bigger or something. Cause I don't know if you've seen an IUD, but they're they're not. I mean, they're in length. They're like the size of a matchstick, but like in width, I would imagine it's. I mean, I've seen them. They're not that that slim. <laughs> um, so that was like ah, I'm like, oh my god. I don't think I I haven't. I mean, I used to get really, really bad cramps before I went on the pill. Like, I'd be bedridden because I couldn't stand because the pain in my lower back was so bad. I've never had them so severe that the pain spread to my butt before. But that happened. That happened. I'm sitting there like... Mm. But it was quick. That part was very quick. That, was, it, that part probably lasted, I'd say, 30 seconds. But that's... I'm probably exaggerating anyway. It probably lasted less than that. Then it's in and they took the all the all the bits out. Like, cause they insert it, there's this 2B thing that has the, uh, like the, the base of the idea and then the threads in it. So they took that out, then they snipped the threads so they're shorter, because I don't want, you don't want threads just dangling out, out of your vagina all the time. These are short, I can check them, uh, like by, like, uh, like monthly or so, just make sure it's still in place, but they're still, they're short enough that, like, they're not gonna be just hanging out all the time. And then she t took the duck lips out and it was fine. It was over. So that was that. And then as soon, and the thing is, and I'm really lucky in this because a lot of people have pretty bad cramping afterward. But um, the minute that she took everything out, I pretty much felt better. I was a little dizzy because it was just, you know, weird stuff. And uh, also from nerves. But um, I again, I'm going to stress the fact that Everyone has different reactions to the IUD. Everyone has different experience with it. So mine is in no way like, you know, the universal experience. But I, I didn't have any pain once it was over. And uh, that's great because that means it didn't perforate my uterus, which I was really afraid of. Because I read somewhere like, in some cases, it can perforate the uterus and then you'll need surgery to remove it. And I was like, I don't want that. That sounds painful. And that that's all based on the skill of the person inserting it. And, uh, Teresa, the doctor who did it, told me that she had never perforated a uterus before. I'm still a little nervous, though, but, like, I'm fine now. And, I mean, I have to work at 7, like, 7.45 in the morning tomorrow. I think I can handle it, honestly. Like, I was a little nervous. I was like, I might not be feeling too well. I hope you... And I told my boss, and she's like, okay, if you need to go home, you can go home. But I just want you to try, to try, because I, I do need... I do really need you, and I'm like, okay... It was poor planning entirely. I thought she wasn't going to put me on the schedule until after I got all my tax forms in. And so I, I go in to get my to fill out my tax forms. I'm like, hey, listen, I'm having a medical procedure done and I'm going to need a few days to recover. And she's like, well, I, you're already on the schedule. And she tried to rearrange it, but I know how hard it is, especially on weekends. No one, if you're not working on the weekends, you don't want to like take up someone else's shift because you've probably made other plans, and I don't know. Uh, to be fair, I have to miss Dungeons and Dragons, which I'm very sad about, but whatever. It's fine. I mean, I can work. Ugh, I'm drinking a lot of water. So, so that was my experience with the IUD. I, um, I'm feeling pretty okay. I think I can, she might, and I might need to, like, you know, take it easy at work tomorrow, but I think I'll be fine. Like, I'm not having any, like, serious pain, or really any pain at all. Um, one thing, though, that freaked me out, and this might be TMI, too, but when I got off the, the, you know, little laying back table thing where I was sitting, there was, like, a pool, not a pool, but, like, a stain on the paper of, like, this, what color is it? Let me, let me figure out how to describe it. It's, like, goldenish, brownish stuff, and I was, like, did that come out of my fucking cervix? Because if it did, I'm worried. So the doctor came in, I'm like, what is that? What is that? And she's like, oh, that's just the, the iodine stuff. And I'm like, oh, thank God. If that was coming out, I would I would go to the hospital so quickly if that was coming out of my uterus. But it wasn't. So everything's okay. I haven't even had any bleeding yet, which is, I hopefully I won't have any because fucking, it's just, it would just be a pain in the ass. <laughs> but, so no cramping, no bleeding. I was, I was dizzy when I was put in just from like stress and from the pain of inserting. But, yeah, I think I got pretty lucky with this, honestly, because some people have issues with it. I am not one of those people, apparently. And then I went to Arby's, which was, which was great, because I haven't been to Arby's in, like, years. So, all in all, very nice experience getting my IUD put in. 
and I know I'm lucky. So I promised you a review, and there's the review. Maybe in like a, um, like a couple months I'll report back, because I know they can change like the way you get your period and stuff. And I'll report back with a review based on that. I'll also probably post a review on our Tumblr. Are you are you posting on that, by the way? I haven't seen any posts of yours. Are, are we still doing that? We need to figure out how we're going to be doing that. Like, if we're going to be writing rants, which we probably should, because that was kind of the point of it. Alright. But, yeah, get back to me about all that stuff. And, yeah, that was getting an IUD put in. So I will talk to you eventually, whenever you get around to making a video. Uh, bye!